morning, YouTube. You're watching Swamp Fox Adventures. I'm Wally. That's Darby. We are loading up in the green machine and we are going to a spring, natural cold water spring today. And there is a Puerto Rican amoeba. There's two of them. Actually, there's three. Those guys are so cool. Okay, we are going to Zonha Fria, which is a spring down here on the coast like in the coastal plain and it comes out of some flat marsh ground and the water is really crystal clear and it runs down a couple of little creeks until it intermingles and eventually dumps all the water into the cano which is the big fresh sort of slightly brackish lagoon behind our house Concerned, everything's a okay. Ah, chicken don't work about nothing but clucking. Price of eggs today, don't worry much about that. So we are here. There's uh, about one, two, four or five other cars. We don't know if they're at the springs or if they're fishing on the bridge over here. Hopefully, it's not crowded at the springs. Okay, we're getting a little closer, y'all. Okay, here is a creek. It, you can see the tan and it's all black on the bottom, but that water is crystal clear and it's flowing from that direction, which is where the spring is. We're pretty close. They're a mullet species, I think. The, all the fish in there, I think it's a mullet species. And now it's time to brave the cold. A little colder. Jump it, Darbs. No. Your mask? No, my, well, that would have been cool. Oh, your phone thing. Mm -hmm. So how is this water cold-wise compared to like La Planta? Oh, well, I don't remember. <laughs> This water is very cold, but it's very hot today, so it, yeah. it doesn't, it, I don't mind it. I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to try to keep all my glasses on. <laughs> sort of worked. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll trial, trail too. You, you yeah, learn. over by Laguna de Tortuga, there's another one but we got to take a four-wheel drive trail to get up to it which we were going to do today but i woke up early and then i took a nap <laughs> this is it goes back here into the swamp and then this is the little creek that i stopped and showed y'all when we were hiking in these growing out of the water like a cypress tree those are pond apples sometimes folks call them uh, alligator apples they get a fruit that is um Sort of look it's like a green apple. Yes, I will. Darby is going to swim into the jungle. She wants a She-Ra queen of the jungle picture. I'm actually walking very slowly into the jungle because I'm kind of scared. But it's, this water really is so cool. Okay, there's a fish down here. I'm videoing because I'm gonna hope to look at it on the GoPro later. I think it's a little mangrove snapper. I think that was a mangrove snapper. I'm not sure. That's why I used the GoPro to video it so I can look at it on the iPad later. So what if I just stand right here in front of it? If you're scared, just say you're scared. It's I'm okay. Scared. Nobody's gonna hold it against you. I am scared. What's a good... Oh. And 
and someday we're going to explore up that way when we come back with fins and snorkels. Oh, we can do that? Yeah. Oh, he went in the tunnel. He popped up right there. There he goes. Uh, about three foot, four foot. Male iguana just dropped out, hit the water, swam through the tunnel, popped up right there, and then took off up this little offshoot. Oh wait, he might not be now. Where is he? He's right there by the tree, getting out, climbing up that tree. Let me see. Oh yeah, there he is. I'll blow this up. Hopefully y'all can see him. I'm sure this water just chilled him out for a bit. Oh, he's bigger than three. He's maybe four. Oh, that was a big one. Um, up the creek, there's deeper spots. There's more springs. I just meant like right here. Oh, yeah. This is the deepest spot I've These black tadpoles in this rainwater puddle are cane toad tadpoles. And those are actually poisonous. Cane toads are poisonous through every life stage. Um, the eggs are poisonous, the tadpoles are poisonous, and of course the toads are poisonous. You can go if you want. And we are flying back to the house right now to meet some friends that are coming in from the bitter cold Wisconsin. And here is another one of the spring fed ponds. You can see the water is still clear. Here we are, back at the car. Weekend traffic on 681. Oh, that's an old iguana. I thought you had, it's a baby iguana. I thought you had a big one. Good girl, Kaza. Good girl, neighbor dog. Dan the Cheesehead has just identified a bird nest. What is it, Dan? Some bullshit. <laughs> Are you glad to be back in Puerto Rico, Dan? Very happy. Very, very happy. We ended up rolling down to Bacata to get something for dinner. My conversation was Okay, we sat down to get something to eat and actually we're gonna roll out. We're heading up to the mountains to meet some friends at uh, Guyana. Okay, I'm going to grab the car and then come back and scoop them up because we're on somewhat of a time crunch right now. Another load of horses. We've passed like five load of horses. So I think they're doing a big run. Here's another one. More. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna be doing a big, big ride on 681 tonight. It's Saturday, all the galleras are going. Our local one, El Pasaje Gallero, is hidden, and we're heading up into the mountains for a different one. We are now on the old 10, y'all. We're not all the way up in the mountains, but we're up here a little bit. Are you ready for your second Gaiera experience? 
This is your first Kyara experience. Fucking A. What do you think? Uh, so far, we'll see what happens. Okay. What's that? How fun you got in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stan was asking, and then we sat down to eat right when Jose sent me, or when I saw the text. And the music just started. Hey. I, I took Darby to uh, Guyana de Pasaje. And, uh, Okay. So Cliff, what did you think of your first Gaiera experience? Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. This is your first Gaiera experience. Oh yeah. What'd you think? Wait up. Okay, y'all. We are following Jose and Christine up into the mountains a little bit more to a restaurant that they know of that I've never been to. Okay, y'all, we are here at dinner. Oh, look at all the coffee grinders. He told me all the stuff, but I want to I know if I can get it. And we got... I think this having an issue with the language barrier. It's difficult. No. The leaders and gas and all that. But, um... Yeah, there's a big tree right up front. <laughs> She tried to take the tip off. Yeah. <laughs> Hot stuff? Hot stuff. Have you tried it yet? <laughs> and what is it, habaneros you said? Uh-huh, it's uh, hot. <laughs> it looked a little yellow. I was like, oh, that looks hot. <laughs> Dinner was awesome. And she was like the, you know, uh, We stopped for some fuel. Cheesehead is getting us super visibility. I want to be able to see. I, I want to live too, that's nice. <laughs> we are gonna detour up through the plaza, y'all. That place just opened. Okay, we are here, y'all. Let's see what the dogs are doing. Hi, Luna. The cheeseheads are watching the Green Bay Packers in Spanish. $6.99. That's it, y'all. We are home for the night. Everyone's getting settled in. I've got to wake up in the morning. I'm transporting some hunters for a hunt that Jose's doing. And early in the morning, and then after that, don't know what we're doing. But whatever we do, y'all are coming with us. Love y'all tomorrow, Sunday. Hope y'all are enjoying it. And we will see you tomorrow.